Hey guys, welcome to a new edition of The Screen Team. My name is Chris and I am being joined by a very lovely lady. Her name is Tonica. Not Tatanka. <laughs> Just Tonica. Yes. Tonica, first off, man, that's such a great name. Thank you. Your mom did a great job naming you. Thank you. All right. Okay, let's move on to movies. It's an Indian tribe. Okay. <laughs> I was, okay, I was I was hoping you would let, you would kind of give you yes. delve into where your name came from. It's the Indian tribe, and then there's a town in Illinois that they used to drive through all the time, mm -hmm. going to Northwestern. So, so as what you're saying is your name solely yours? Does anybody else have the name Tonica? I think there's like when I did a Google search, mm -hmm. I think there's like three of us. Uh -huh. um, but most, but I know one of them is over in uh, Sweden or someplace in Europe sure. because. It means water. Most places you go to, even in Japan, because mm -hmm. the tonic. Yeah. So. Right. And in Spanish, it's like if you want a gin and tonic, I guess it's tonica. So. Uh. And Adam Sandler made it popular too, because <laughs> <laughs> it rhymes with marijuana. <laughs> Man, we're learning all kinds of stuff here <laughs> yes. on the screen team. We've got three movies that you have picked for us today, Tonica. Um, we're going to be getting into Paul Newman's uh, film Cool Hand Luke. We're oh. also going to be getting into a film that I absolutely despised. We'll talk more about that one in a little bit. But first up, we've got a movie called Eddie and the Cruisers. Is that the name of this film? Yes. It came out, what, in 1983? Yes. I'm looking at your notes right now, just so yes. you know. <laughs> uh, Eddie and the uh, Cruisers. This is um, what a, a story about a, a young man who wants to become famous musically, right? He wants to be in a rock band. Right, he's in a rock band. All right, and then um, they have a, a a great selling album that's out. Okay, and then they go to work on the second album, and they and so the news and everybody knows that it's been recorded, and then his car runs off the bridge, and it, they can't find the body. What? So this is the lead singer. So that's Eddie. Okay. So the whole movie is them going back and doing investigative to find the lost tapes. Mm -hmm. If you go by the book, it is about the murder-suicide. There's a book? Yeah, it's based on a book. What? Which is so much better than the movie. <laughs> Trust me. Um, I, some people like it. Some people don't. Mm -hmm. It's got a cult following. It didn't do well when it came out in theaters. Mm -hmm. Um, because they didn't put it out in the summer. They put it out in the when all the kids were in school because this was really a, a movie for like high schoolers, college, sure. you know, that age. Um, I had the soundtrack. My brother bought the soundtrack mm -hmm. and then he just discarded it and I fell in love with it, you know, yeah. cassette tape. Um, they put it on HBO, which got a huge following again. And so they re-released the movie in the summer and it still flopped, <laughs> you know. So... <laughs> But every time they play it on HBO uh, or play it on anything, I mean, there's, it, it has a following. People sure. will do it. And three of the songs went on the Billboard's charts. I mean, wasn't, and one of them was number one. So. Wasn't uh, one of them uh, The Dark Side yes. by Jerry Cafferty and the Beaver yes. Brown Band? John. John, whatever. I was close, man. I'm a DJ. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I love that song, by yes. the way. It has a very Bruce Springsteen yeah. uh, type of flair. Does, does Eddie and the Cruisers play that in the... Do they play that in the movie? Yes, they play that song in the movie. Cool. Um, it, the, the whole soundtrack came from the movie. Okay. But it was this one band, the John Cafferty uh, and the Beaver Brown Band. Right. That, they're the ones that did it. And the saxophone player actually got the part to play the saxophone player on the movie. Oh, cool. You know? Yeah. So. All right. So we got the general gist of it. Why do you like this movie? Now I like to watch it because it's horrible lip syncing. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it was, everybody said it was so great and everything mm -hmm. back then, but I'm like, really? Because it's like really horrible lip syncing. Yeah. But I mean, he really gets into it. And I I like it for the simple fact that it's the movie mm -hmm. and I, I mean, that for the music. And it does a lot of like, um, the things, you know, they set up, there's conversations that go on behind the scenes, you know, and everything. But they set up, there's the dynamics of them um, when they go on stage and while they're on stage and the humiliation some of them give off on the other. And there's a, uh, like a love triangle going on and sure. everything. And, and so it, it's supposed to make you think like, okay, what happened when he died? But the movie, 
I like the movie, but it could have been so much better because they it's the whole end of it, they kind of threw it together. Mm -hmm. And they tried to stick with the book, but they didn't move up to work with what the book was dealing with. So uh, in that aspect, it wasn't... It wasn't that great, but I still, I don't know. It's just one of those things that if it's so, on, I'd like to watch it. So is it fair to say this is a guilty pleasure movie for you? Yes, it is. Cool. Um, let's talk about the movie. Is this a rated R movie? Is it rated PG-13? I think it's just, I think it's a PG, PG-13. Okay. I, there's really not. There's like no there's, nudity, yeah, cussing, violence, anything like that? No. Okay. Other than the car going off the bridge, and okay. there's a one fist fight. Wasn't there a sequel to this movie? Yes, and it wasn't based on the book whatsoever, okay. and it was just, I, I've i watched it like twice, and I just don't like it. Okay. I just, I, it's like, mm. So Tonica says, so, eh, don't do the sequel, stay with, stay with the original. I'm not going to tell you to stay away from it, yeah. from this movie, but. But I, I like it because of the music. Okay. So if you're a fan of music, this might be something that, yeah. that you might enjoy. Yeah. All right. Um, Eddie and the Cruisers is the name of the film. Is that right? Yes. And you know, Rick Springfield was supposed to do this movie. Thank God he didn't. All uh, right. That's why I, I have to say that. <laughs> I know. He would have ruined it because it would have been his music instead of this good old... We could have heard Jesse's girl for the 500th <laughs> time. All right. Uh, we've got more with Tanaka coming up next, including a movie that I despise so, so much. We'll talk about it next right here on the screen team.